Good morning, book fighters. It is Monday, October 12th, 11th. It's the 11th. It's October the 11th. That was a poor start, but I'm going to keep going anyway. It's great to be back. I have missed everyone. Um, unfortunately, I still don't have internet because the internet providers in this country don't quite seem to realize how important it is and how necessary it is to, a, you know, a nerd like me and his life so they still haven't given me my internet back which is a annoyance to say the least so I'm gonna upload this uh, over the university library Wi-Fi which means that it, it's gotta be quite short unfortunately but uh, I'm back and I'm doing videos and I'm never gonna miss another one again um, yeah, uh, this week, or <laughs> like last week, or the week before that, I read the Graveyard book. Um, I, I liked it, but I didn't love it, and I'm not going to say any more about it, because there's a brilliant review by Sarah. Um, I will show you the other cover, though, because uh, she also talked about the cover, and this is, this is the other cover. Um, take what you will from that. Um, next week, I'm going to read uh, Henry IV, Part 1. Possibly part two. I haven't decided yet. And I'm going to talk about the feelings I have about uh, the search for truth in theatre. I know none of us have done a play yet, uh, but that's what I do. You know, I'm back and that's what I do. I do different things. I, I mix it up a bit. I mix it up a bit. What can I say? Um, I haven't seen any of your videos. I haven't seen any of Vlog Brothers videos. I haven't seen any Neramon videos. I haven't seen anything, which upsets me greatly. You must understand this. Um, so I can't answer any questions inevitably, but what I'm going to do is ask you a question, and this is the main focus of this video. I'm going to read you an extract from a, a book by Andrew Bennett and Nicholas Royal called Literature, Criticism and Theory, and I'm going to read you uh, a short uh, question, if you will, um, about beginnings and the nature of them, and I'd like you to answer this uh, in your videos, which I will watch, uh, because that's what I'm doing now. Um, when will we have begun? Where or when does a literary text begin? The question raises a series of fundamental problems in literary criticism and theory. Does text begin as an author puts his or her first mark on a piece of paper or keys in the first word on a computer? Does it begin with the first idea about a story or poem or in the childhood of the writer, for instance? Or does the text only begin as the reader picks up the book? Does the text begin with its title or with the first word of the so-called body of the text? I think that's a really interesting question. Like, is it the inspiration? Is it the childhood? Is it is it the pen? Is it is it inevitably the reader who determines where a story begins at any given time or place? It's an interesting question. I will give you my answer next week. Give me your answers this week. It is great to be back, and I will see you. Oh, I'm Shane Dawson.